In this video, I want to talk about eukaryotic transcription, specifically the general scheme of how it goes, specifically involving enhancers. So what is an enhancer? An enhancer is a DNA sequence far from the promoter that binds activators to increase the rate of transcription. Does that make sense? Enhancers increase the rate of transcription. That makes sense. Now, what is a response element? This is another important term that we need to understand. A response element is a specific enhancer that responds, hence the name, to a particular signal. And there are a few examples, and we're going to actually talk about a specific one, cyclic AMP. We're going to talk about this in a later video. But another thing is steroid hormones. Steroid hormones, uh, for example, something like testosterone. Um, individuals who want to build muscle uh, will sometimes take a testosterone as a steroid hormone. And testosterone, what it does is it acts via an enhancer, a specific response element, um, to increase transcription. So an increase in transcription, more mRNA. More mRNA means more protein. More protein means more muscle mass. So that's a little fun fact there for you. There are also these things called activators, which are basically specific transcription factors. So an activator is a protein that binds a DNA sequence to alter expression of that gene. Now, steroid hormone receptors will be the things that actually bind these steroid hormones. Something that we'll talk about as a specific uh, activator is CREB. We'll discuss that more later. A coactivator or a mediator is a protein that helps form the initiation complex. So we talked about that briefly when we talked about HEFAB back in the day. So a take home point here to keep in mind is that an enhancer or a response element, those are actual sequences on the DNA. Whereas these things here, these activators and coactivators, these are actual proteins. So now that we've got that sort of detail, those, that detail out of the way, let's actually apply that knowledge. So let's think about this general scheme here that I've drawn out. So if we imagine a DNA strand like this, and it has a tata -ta box and a start site, which make up the promoter region, and we have an enhancer that's pretty far away, how would this enhancer enhance or increase the rate of transcription. So as we recall from before, we first had to have transcription factor 2D bind the Tata -ta box. Once transcription factor 2D binds the Tata -ta box, it recruits RNA polymerase 2 and of course the transcription factor is HEFAB. So I'm going to put here RNA polymerase 2 basal complex. Usually the basal complex is also includes transcription factor 2D, but I'm just going to put this here to imply that the other transcription factors are also coming over here to the promoter. Now the third thing that happens is a specific transcription factor, I'm just going to put that TF for transcription factor, will go ahead and bind the enhancer. So now what's going on here overall? We're having proteins come over to DNA and interact with them. So that is a protein DNA interaction. This here, this transcription factor, specific transcription factor is binding this enhancer. This is a protein interacting with a particular DNA sequence. Same thing over here with this transcription factor 2D binding the Tata -ta box and um, RNA polymerase 2 and its basal complex. Uh, another thing that I want to point out just to mention briefly is that transcription factor 2D and all those other transcription factors that come along with this complex are all basal transcription factors. So anytime RNA polymerase 2 is coming in, those transcription factors, transcription factor 2D and HEFAB will always be coming in, H, E, F, A, and B. Now, further, once, once this happens, what we're going to get is the DNA will actually loop around so as to have the specific transcription factor that has bound the enhancer, it's now going to interact with the transcription factor 2D and the RNA polymerase complex. 
polymerase two specifically. So now this in this the, the reason it looped around is so that this protein that is interacting with this enhancer and these proteins interacting with the Tata box and the start site, the whole promoter here, now these proteins are actually interacting here. So this is now a protein protein interaction. So these protein protein interactions, what they do is they help increase the uh, stability of the RNA polymerase oops of the RNA polymerase initiation complex and that allows for an increased rate of transcription so now once this all happens this RNA polymerase will go ahead and transcribe in an enhanced fashion And that's pretty much it. Hope that video was helpful. One more thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at mufuniversity at gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.